these fools, they'll never learn. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new episode of Foo for Thought Fight Bites. It's been a while. Uh, we haven't done these in a while. If you don't know what Fight Bites is, if you haven't seen our other Fight Bites episode, it's basically, or episodes, it's basically where I sit down with someone, A, either from the Kung Fu Cinema community, or B, this one here, this is my wife, Devon, if you're not a listener or watcher mm-hmm. of the podcast. And uh, basically, I have, well, if we're talking about Devon, I have a sit down, I watch a fight scene, watch maybe two fight scenes, and then we just discuss it. That's right. Discuss how you feel. That's right. Um, Today, so if you don't know, Devon's a big fan of weapons films, right? Indeed. Or weapons fights, I should say. Absolutely. Big fan of weapons. Absolutely. Um, so today, we basically watched what I think is largely considered the two greatest weapon fights of all time in Kung Fu cinema history. Maybe not in action cinema history, but in Kung Fu cinema history. Now, people may argue with me. People may say, no, it's this one. Okay, that's fine. But I think these two are are very much recognized as being two of the best. Mm-hmm. One is Sammo Hung against Lao Ka Wing in The Odd Couple. The classic odd couple, that's a sword and spear fight. And then the other one is, once again, Lao Ka Wing against Lao Ka Lung, his brother. Wait a minute. Yeah. Go on. That was Sama. Yeah. Eyebrows. Yeah. No, beard. Was it? Yeah. Did not realize that was You didn't realize that was Sama Hung? No. That's great. That's great. I had yeah. no idea that was him. Did you realize that the guy with the eyebrows was the same guy in the other fight we watched? Oh, no. Okay. So, uh, the second film that we watched is Legendary Weapons of China. We watched the first fight scene from The Odd Couple, or just Odd Couple. I don't think it's even The Odd Couple. Odd Couple. And then we watched, the, of course, the last fight scene in Legendary Weapons of China. Um, and uh, I wanted to find the final fight in Odd Couple, but we were actually watching it on YouTube, and we couldn't find it. Um, I couldn't be bothered to get my Blu-ray out. I'm lazy but <laughs> in the final fight of odd couple it's uh-huh. switched samo hung has the spear and lao Kao wing has the sword so oh, they okay. change weapons oh, okay yeah that's kind of the purpose of the film it's, it's a very very interesting film although we will never watch it because the comedy in odd couple let's be honest yeah i could i could tell from that great. clip uh there was shenanigans plenty of shenanigans and Heavy on the shenanigans one of dean sheck's worst Ugh. performances as Rocky which one was. was he Dean the Shek- Hunchback or the other one? He wasn't it. You didn't see that oh, okay. in, in that one. Dean Shack appears later on. He plays a, a a character called Rocking Horse because of the way he walks. He kind of walks like a rocking horse. You'd hate it. You'd okay, hate yeah. It. It sounds like I would. Um, so I'm going to ask you the obvious question first. Yes. Which fight's better? <sighs> so this was a tough one. This was a tough one. Okay. Um, the first one, uh, first one was Odd Couple, right? First one, Odd Couple. Yeah. Right. First one, I was just like, this is fucking amazing. <laughs> um, when the second one started, I was just like, hmm, first one's better. But then, yeah, they, uh, of course, there was much more weapons in the second one, and I do enjoy weapons. Um, uh, so it was hard. So I was like, all right, which one of these do I like better? Can I ask you a question before you finish? Yes. Why did you feel like the second fight scene started off a bit blah? So my only was my second one because they started out indoors, so it was a lot more confined. Oh, so they okay. were they were they were very close to each other, so their movements were uh, were seemed like more confined. Okay, compared to where obviously if they're outside, then there's a lot more room for them to move around and do be a, lot, a bit more lavish. Good observation. Um, but then they ended up going outside, and then they brought out more weapons. So <laughs> I feel like more weapons definitely is more means the more complex. Yeah. Um. But I think maybe I still think the first one. That's really, really interesting that you said the first one. Uh, so reason being is, um, so for the longest time, the first fight scene has been my favorite weapons fight of all time. Okay, uh, bar none. I, I think it's I think it's incredible. But rewatching Legendary Weapons of China fight, mm-hmm. oh, it's close. Yeah, it's close. That fight is so good, and I'll be honest with you, 
I never used to like that fight, and I don't really? know why. Yeah, growing up watching kung fu movies, that fight was. I was like, ah, oh, it's fine, it's all right. Rewatching it, I haven't seen the film in a while, but rewatching it, man, that yeah. is. That is so good. I it mean, uh, good. I like also the difference between the two films. There's a very distinct difference because obviously Sammo Hung choreographed one. Yeah. And Lao Kao Leung uh, choreographed the other one. Uh, and yeah, I think there's such a distinct difference. And what do you like about the odd couple fight in particular? Um, That's hard for me to, to pinpoint um, because obviously I, you know, I... I'm very limited on my knowledge and I'm trying to figure out. Is it just aesthetically pleasing? I think that uh, maybe, yes, I think maybe that's it. The first one is definitely more aesthetically pleasing. Just the, just the, the, there just seems to be a, 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 a gorgeous flow to it. <sighs> Tell that, me about it. <laughs> there's, about there's a much more of a gorgeous flow to the first one than the, than the second one. Um, and maybe, and I guess that's just that's a that's a signature. Is that like a signature like Samo thing? Uh, Samo, yes. I, I mean, Samo's choreography oh. always flows. It's it's okay. beautiful. And one thing, it's interesting that you're beginning to like pick up on things that kung fu cinema fans pick up on. I think, like, I might not be able to nail down like the specifics of the differences, but I can at least tell. Obviously, there's a you know, if there's a different choreographer, there's a different style, and 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 just trying to figure out how to describe i guess trying to figure out how to describe what i like about each one no differences but yeah but yeah definitely there's a there's a there's definitely more of a flow with samos that i that i definitely like yeah i think uh just to just to build off that a little bit that this you're absolutely right there is a more distinct flow there's also i think in samos a more distinct rhythm hmm. i think in samos you hear the it's more just it's literally pop 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 and then Lao Young is kind of pop 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 he like changes the rhythm of his. Oh, okay. I think Samos is more rhythmically pleasing. Mm -hmm. Um also I'm gonna ask, do you like the flourishes in Samos? Like when he catches the spear behind his leg and flicks it out. Do you like stuff like that? Or is that that was No, I mean I thought that was very, very cool. It was very hard for me. I was, you know, really trying to when that happened and I was really trying to focus and pay attention to because I couldn't quite see where this I mean obviously Obviously, I knew that the sword was on his leg, but I couldn't quite see where it was going. It's, yeah, trying to follow, yeah, I'm still working on, especially when it's kind of fast-paced, just trying to follow all the moves. Uh, I'm still I'm still working on that. I'd like to actually ask our audience that. I, I, I have a question. So if you watch Kung Fu cinema uh, and, and are a big fan of Kung Fu films, do you find that, did or did you find that you had to build an eye for fight scenes? Like Devin's saying, she, you know, she's not at that stage where she catches every move. Did we have not to build all. that ability? I Do you mean, think you that's something that comes? To. You have to. For so many of these fights, they're so fast paced and trying to trying to pick up every, you know, yeah. every single movement. Yeah. I mean, if you can if you were able to pick it up like off the jump, then you're much better. Uh, much better person than me, much more observant. I just, there's so much going on between the feet and the hands and trying to, yeah. trying to watch everything. And then if you're throwing weapons into the mix and just all those movements and flourishes, my Lord, yeah. trying to keep up with it all. Yeah, I think, I mean, I can't remember because I've been watching them for so long. I right. can't remember like whether I built an eye, but I imagine I did. Um, okay, I'm going to ask you the obvious question. Yes. What's your favorite weapon? <sighs> I mean, I do, and I've said it before, I do very much love a three-section staff. Everyone does, yep. It's absolutely. so, so cool. But then also the spear is pretty is pretty cool, too. If you get someone who's good with a spear, yeah. it is, it's it amazing. is jaw-dropping. Okay, but here's, so here's my question. In yeah. the second fight, yeah. um, uh, what was that first, that three-section, like, medley one? And didn't, did it have, like, a pointy end? Mm -hmm. What's that guy? You visibly moved when that side moved. And you were like, oh, you, like, got excited when you saw that because, one. Because, yeah, is that when I leaned forward? Yeah. Yeah, because I was trying to, I was trying to, I was really trying to fi figure out, like, the movements and fig and yeah. pay attention to where it was going. Because, uh, because in that one, it had, like, it, it, um... Whenever our new weapons came out, it said what it was. It did, yeah. And so, of course, I think it said three-section something. It, yeah, it's, it's so, a three-section chain whip. 
Okay, so yeah. I all I saw was uh, because also the camera is kind of in front of our TV. So all I saw was three sections. I was like, oh yay, three three sections yeah. staff. But then when it came out and it was the metal thingy, I was like, what the heck is this guy? Um, but it was cool. It was very cool looking. Yeah, but yeah. The three section staff is a uh, traditional three section staff is my fave. But yeah, I'm I'm. I'm really enjoying a good, like if someone is, re- like you said, if someone's really good with that sphere, uh, it looks amazing. Yeah, there's some great spear fights in multiple kung fu films, yeah. and I I enjoy a good spear fight. Mm-hmm. Um, I should show you the um, three-section staff fight from a film called Dirty Tiger Crazy Frog. Okay. And it's actually the two guys that fought in Odd Couple, Samo and Lau Ka Wing. Mm-hmm. It's them fighting again, but they both have three-section staffs. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's it's bonkers. It has a little bit more comedy in the fight, mm-hmm. uh, like only a little bit, but um it's it's a crazy fight scene. Watching them both use three section staffs, nuts. So a part of me wants to watch Odd Couple again now that because since I didn't yeah. realize that it was Samo, um and uh now that I know that it's him, I kinda wanna watch it again. I very much like Samo. Mm-hmm. His choreography is great, and all of his fights. Look are... at it. Listen to it. <laughs> Listen to this. Put a big smile on my face. I know. I know. Sam is my I, favorite choreographer. Yeah, I, I genuinely, just thinking back to the movies of his that we've done, um, yeah, they're great. He's. I, I don't th- I think he's unmatched. I think Lau Carl Young's up there. I think he. I, you know, I don't like saying that there's like a draw at the top of my favorites, but. Between the top, or what some people consider the top three, being Samo, Lakolung, and Yumu Ping, I would maybe Samo creeps up uh, above above them. But I have been enjoying Lakolung a lot more lately because we've been visit- revisiting we've watched all, his films. We've watched a lot. With yeah, the yeah, we have. Yeah. Um, but also, Lao Kao Leung is so well rounded. Uh, like the fact that he can do that or deal with those many weapons or that yeah. many weapons yeah. is unbelievable. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, great. Yeah, but yeah, but I, I maybe for me the Samo ekes past just a bit, just the overall aesthetic of it. No, I, I get it. I get it. Um, yeah, it's it's. Look at me. I sound like I know what I'm talking about. I think you you're you're definitely beginning to <laughs> to know what you're talking about. I think so. Soon you'll be able to recognize uh, fight choreographers just by seeing their fights. That would be cool. <laughs> if I could do that, if I could get to that point, I'd be super proud of myself. Yeah, you'll be like I don't yeah, I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm I'm certainly not there yet. Yeah. Or you'll like know, if you had stunt doubles. Like if you had yeah, played that second one and you were just like who choreo- who choreographed that? Yeah, I would have no idea. Would you have known I'd who- probably taken a guess. <laughs> would you have known who the actor is? No. Okay. Just I probably would have taken a guess and just be like Yeah, like yeah. There are only a, you you know, there are only a few choreographers where the or we've watched a lot of films with the same choreographer, so I've just guessed. We have. You have. There's a little cheat code. I'll give you a cheat code, right? Okay. If you recognize Lao Kao Leung, uh-huh. the actor, if uh-huh. you recognize his face and go Lao Kao Leung, that's him. Uh-huh. Whenever he fights, he choreographed it. Uh, like, I, yeah, I, 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 don't, re- I don't recognize his face. I don't think I am aware of a Lao Kao Leung film where he doesn't choreograph himself. Some people might say Drunken Master 2 because Jackie's there and Jackie choreographed. But as far as I'm aware, I think Lao Kao Leung uh, directed or choreographed the early fights that he's in. Um, but yeah, most of the time when you see him, you'll be like, yeah, that's, that's his. Okay. Samo has been through a bunch of people's choreography. Um, but then again, most of the time it's Samo okay. when it, when he's on screen. Okay. Um, yeah. Cause what, what have we watched with Sam? Eastern Condors. Encounters uh, wh- of the Spooky Kind. Encounters of the Spooky Kind. Warriors 2, Prodigal Son. Right. Yeah. And he choreographed all those. That's the so, one where he's a butcher. Magnificent Butcher. He choreographed that with Yun Wu Ping. Oh, okay. He co-directed that with Yun uh, Yun Wu Ping. Okay. So uh, they both, because that I believe at the moment I'm telling people the Magnificent Butcher is my favorite uh, kung fu film of all time. That's, that's good. That's currently it. Changes every week, obviously, because that's <laughs> what we do as kung fu cinema fans. Um, it changes every week, but yeah, I, I think that one was good. Yeah, was there a weapon in Legendary Weapons of China that, like, oh, I guess you said that the three, the three, uh, cha- uh three leg chain whip. I was going to say, is there one that surprised you? But yeah, that one. That's the one. That one definitely. 
It's an interesting question. How do you feel about the shield being used? Because you don't often see that. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Yeah. Um, that was very, very interesting. I, I thought it was great. I enjoyed it. Uh, Pretty the unique one, how it used Yeah. Uh, yes. And then the one that I'm always very mad about on the rare occasion that it oh. comes up is the trident. Oh, you don't like the trident? It, uh, it's all right. Too big and clunky? I don't know. I just feel like it, it's... I first, I just feel like it's not great. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. Like how long uh, wields it pretty well, though. Oh, one hundred percent. But yeah, it's just in general as a weapon, it's very low down uh, on my list of That's like fair. of of cool. That's fair. The only thing that annoys me about the final fight, and it's a very small gripe. I don't know why. I don't know why this annoys me. That he grabs the shield, yeah. and then Lao Kao Wing grabs the um, the single like Wing Chun sword. Yeah, I wanted him to use two Wing Chun swords at one point. That the butterfly sword. Butterfly sword. Yeah. At one point, look at you, Jesus Christ! <laughs> um, I wanted him to use two at, at some point, right? Um, but of course, Lao Kao Lung had already kind of tread that uh, that path in uh, Thirty Six Chamber of Shaolin because he uses. Uh, Lee Hoi Sang uses two in that. Um, what do you think about the the monk shovel? Oh yeah, I'm not a fan of that. That's also very low down. Okay, on the, on the list. Oh, you're, you're not. I, I think you're not a fan of big clunky weapons. Then yeah, they seem too clunky. You and like the dexterous weapons. I I believe I do. Okay, that 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 makes sense. Um, I will try and find the final fight scene from Odd Couple for you, because then you'll get to see him switch roles. Okay. So Samo with the spear and Lao Kao Wing with the sword. And I tell you what, they are equal. They are just as good as each other with both weapons. I'm actually very disappointed that I didn't recognize him. <laughs> I don't understand, and I don't understand why. He's a slimmer version, I think. I Odd thought Couple. he looked pretty slim too. Maybe that's why, because yeah, he's. he's- yeah, because he's so slim. He slimmed down. Yeah, I think. Mm. Yeah. Well, you know, Pointed. in the future you'll you'll probably notice Samo a little bit more. Um, yeah. Well, and I, he's got the gray wig, right? And his hair is yeah, gray wig, gray maybe, beard. Maybe that's why he's got makeup on to make his face look red. Oh yeah, yeah, so yeah. He does look a bit different. Maybe that's why. Yeah, I think I think it, it took me a while to recognize actors, um, and especially the worst thing is. Uh, or this was me. I got into kung fu films probably about the age of like fifteen, and trying to remember actors' names, I, I couldn't do it for the life of me. It took me years to remember Lao Kao Lung. Okay, years. I mean, Jackie Chan's easy, Samuel Hung's easy, but like Yun Biao took me years. Yeah, and I'm not very good with names as it is anyway. Um, that's awesome. I'm glad. Are you still? Are you still saying that you are a firm fan of uh, weapons fights? Absolutely. And that's your preferred. Absolutely. Guys, if you have any weapons-based films and you can drop them in the uh, in the notes, notes, comments, <laughs> and you think uh, that you think Devin might like, I'm trying to think of some. Um, like, Send them my way. Yeah, specific weapons uh, films. Hopefully, if you can find them, ones without shenanigans, right? Yeah. Shenanigans and hijinks, she doesn't do. Yeah. If yeah, I if they're heavy on the on the hijinks, not a fan. Yeah, so if we can find a good weapons film, we'll do it for the podcast. Uh, we'll have Devon review it with Cyrus and me, and uh, yeah, all right. Are we going to wrap this up? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I think this is nice and short and concise. But as far as you're concerned, Odd Couple number one. Odd Couple number one, absolutely. One of the best weapons fights you've seen in a kung fu film. That's an interesting question. I'd have to I'd have to think about that. I don't know about the poof. I don't know about the best, but definitely very very good. Okay. Which, you know, I mean, we've watched a lot of films and trying to remember we have. fight scenes. It's 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 tough. However, yeah. I will say it was fucking awesome. It was very very good. Nice. Yeah. Nice. All right then. Two thumbs up. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad we uh we because you would struggle with the rest of the films for the odd couple and uh, legendary weapons of China. Even I don't love we- uh, legendary weapons. He of started. China. <laughs> he started that clip from legendary weapons, and and there was lots of like. <laughs> 
close up Magic. of yeah, close ups of uh, this dude's eyes and then lights, and I was just like, "What the fuck is going on right now?" <laughs> right yeah. now, if you haven't seen, <laughs> and then the it film, jumped into the fight. <laughs> Lao Kar Wing can basically hypnotize people, and the fight scene that we watched, like it starts off as he's hypnotizing someone, which makes it very bizarre. If you know, don't know about the film, I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, strange. Um. But yeah, we'll we'll find some good, uh, some more weapons uh, fights for you to watch. And uh, I'd like to put it to the audience: if you have a fight scene that you would like Devon to watch, that you think she might be able to to critique, uh, either one that she'll love or one she'll be like, "Huh, that makes no sense." <laughs> either one. Um, yeah, let me know, and I'll go ahead and we can sit down together and watch it. Cool. I'm, I'm considering having you watch some of the Japanese fight choreography, the modern Japanese fight choreography. It's okay. very different, uh, but we'll see how that goes. Hit me All with right. it. Hmm? Hit me with it. Yeah, we'll do. All right, we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Please like. Please like this video. Yeah. Please subscribe. Yeah. Please uh, share us with your friends. Yeah. If you like what you see, <laughs> like and subscribe. We really, really appreciate that. Um, and uh, yeah, we will hopefully have another episode out for you soon. So as we always sign off, we will catch you next time. Yeah.